and the mind can settle down with the breath. It's as if you're feeding it, because the mind spends a lot of time running around, and it needs a place to rest, it needs a place to gather its strength. So staying with the breath provides just that spot. It's right here in the present moment. You don't have to do anything special to create it. It's right there already. And if you want to think, you can think about the breath, but it's, it's a restful kind of thinking. You're helping with the energy of the body, the energy of the mind. And as for your other concerns, your other responsibilities, you put them aside for the time being. It's just when you work, as you go through the day, you realize that there comes a point where you've got to stop and you've got to eat, and you've got to rest, otherwise the work is just not going to happen. It's not going to go well. And even though you might have been working while you, you spend that time eating, you might have been working when you spend that time resting, still you're put, willing to put that work aside because you realize that the quality of the work depends on having the body rested and well-fed. That's the same with the mind. We can think and think and think, and there are lots of things we are responsible for thinking about. But there comes a point where the mind begins to wear down, and the thinking doesn't go anywhere. This is why it's good to have a spot where you can rest and, and be alert at the same time. The resting of the meditation is a lot more strengthening for the mind than just falling asleep or taking a nap, because you're also building good qualities in mind, qualities of alertness, qualities of mindfulness, at the same time that you rest. And as for the nourishment of the mind, we think about the, the food that we get through the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, the metal food that we get, seeing this, liking this, not liking that. That's snack food. It's not really nourishing for them. And the real nourishment comes when the mind develops its own good qualities inside. Because if you're dependent always on things outside, you're placed in a position of weakness. But if you can have your own good qualities in mind and feed yourself inside. It's like centuries back when the Burmese invaded Thailand. The city of Ayutthaya had gardens and had food sources inside the city. So it was able to repel the Burmese for a long, long time. That's the same as you go through life. There are going to be lots of places where, lots of times, where the surroundings are not all that nourishing for your mind. And that's when you need an inner strength. The good qualities of discernment, concentration, mindfulness, alertness that you develop through the meditation. So think of this as a kind of nourishment for the mind, a strengthening the mind. So that when you do have other responsibilities, the mind will be in good shape. It's like a knife. If you just keep using, using, using the knife and never sharpen it, it's going to get dull. And it's going to require more and more of your own strength to cut through things. And eventually you're not going to be able to cut anything at all because the knife is so dull. But if you rest every now and then and sharpen it, okay, then you can cut, cut, cut right through things. So we're sitting here being very quiet. Part of the mind will say, we've got to think about this, you've got to think about that, and you've got to remind it. No. This is the time to rest and recuperate, strengthen the mind from within, nourish it from within. Then when you're ready, you come back out. 